So, I've seen this card to death today. Ace of Swords. Majority of signs have had it. So, I see this week being extremely clarifying. You know, this could be truths coming out, becoming aware, just having brand new ideas. Uh, epiphanies as well. I know it sounds dramatic, but this has been coming up for so many signs. I feel like the majority will be feeling this energy. Anyway, you have two aces, by the way, which is fabulous. You have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. These are probably my two favorite aces. I could argue that the Ace of Pentacles might be before the Ace of Swords, but regardless, brand new thoughts, ideas coming to light and what new beginnings that are exciting and passionate. And I'm sorry, but this wand in particular is very comical. This can be sexual uh, adventures as well that's coming forward because I can't see this any other way. Um, regardless, aside from the imagery, this is passion, new passions, and again, new ideas, new thoughts that are coming to light. A very exciting week for you. Now, what's interesting, before I get to the central card, is the outcome card. This is my dominant card. This usually, this points towards where the other cards lean for me. And what's very interesting is, is that it's the Seven of Swords, and it's a card of deception, and you got someone here cloaked, taking shit that doesn't belong to him, and saying, in a way, he feels like he knows what he's doing, no one else is around or sees him, and this could either be yourself doing this or someone doing this to you, or feeling like someone has taken away opportunities from you. We'll clarify this, because I don't like that this is the overall card, especially when you have such beauties here, where the Wheel of Fortune is at the center, it's all about this change that might appear random because the wheel just comes and goes as it pleases. It's like the universe stepping in and making changes for you. It's out of your control. And those two changes are, again, new thoughts, ideas, truths coming to light. And again, this passionate energy coming forward in the Ace of Wands. Something about it, either you can't trust, you're skeptical, that could be what this is about, and that's what I hope this is about. Um, you just not trusting the situation. I feel like I said this for another sign where it's like too good to be true. What's the catch is coming up here with the seven of swords. And let's clarify that now because it's just, it's killing the other cards for me. And they're so strong that I don't like it. Why do we have the seven of swords here? What is the seven of swords about? We've got a card of friendships here and the hangman and somehow now i'm thinking that a friend or a connection has somehow deceived you or taken something from you it could be a group of people that you don't trust and that comes to light this week about three people in particular or just a friend that was part of a close-knit circle has done some shit behind your back where they took something that was yours, they knew it, they knew what they were doing. While you weren't looking, they just up and took it and laughed. Um, meanwhile, I, I said, I think it's a friend. I think you're hung up on this situation with the hangman. You don't know what to do. You you're, might be in disbelief as well, and you might feel stuck. Some of you might be looking to other friends for support. Now I have to ask, what impact does the Seven of Swords have on these other cards? And it gets even more interesting and almost confusing with the Ten of Chalices here. So something has been taken away with the Seven of Swords in a way you feel robbed or chipped. But this card is not taking away from the others in the sense that you've got happiness. You got that high of happiness coming in the Ten of Chalices. And my intention with the clarif this clarification was basically to see the, what does the Seven of Swords mean for you? What is it? What impact does it have on these cards? And there's happiness here. So in some way, there's almost a sense of being happy to be rid of some bullshit that has come up. Maybe this was in your way and you get rid of it. That could be a friend. It could be a close friend, so that still fucking hurts, and you're hung up on it, but this doesn't take away from the joy that you experience, which I'm happy to see. So that means that you'll still have this emotional high. There's a cost, there's a little cost here. 
and there's some negativity, but it's not enough to override this. So I'm happy about that because I felt that these were too strong for the Seven of Swords to come in and take it away. <laughs> so I'm like, my Seven of Swords is not taking it away. Ace of Swords. Now we're learning something here. We're learning that I can't shuffle still. And we are, oh, okay. So another card of awareness. Something could be resurrected, but this is definitely uh, nothing is hidden. Information's coming out. Big news. As I, this could tie into reconciliations or hearing from someone that you haven't heard from some time. This could be someone who gypped you with the Seven of Swords there, and this could be that friend. But there is, again, something coming to light here. It's quite big. I still think it's positive. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Pentacles. So not only will you be emotionally fulfilled, but you'll feel fortunate where money is concerned, work is concerned, family life, things are working out. You feel so stable and so confident with your situation. I think you're weeding out this negative energy. And maybe on some level you feel like you dodged a bullet. That could also be what the Seven of Swords is about. Like you've escaped, you've managed to escape a situation that could have been negative and you've come out on top. You got two tens here. And this definitely also represents new cycles coming in. You got two aces, the new beginning cards, and two tens, which are at the top of their game. So you feel at the top of your game where emotions are concerned and um, where financial security is concerned. You're feeling at rest, at peace. You can relax now. You might not have been able to relax before and you're like, I can finally just take a breather because everything feels like it's sorting itself out. Four of Swords. Some of you may be recovering from a situation that has been difficult as well. And now it's like the wheel is bringing stuff in your favor and you have the star with the Ace of Wands. That's the card I was thinking about. This is hope, renewed passion. So if you thought something was lost and it wasn't going to turn out in your favor or just something wasn't going to work out, it's working out. And it's better than you could have hoped for with the star. Strong creative energy is coming up too. And this might have involved you leaving something that you needed to leave. You've had an emotional connection. Yeah, I was there for a long time. Yeah, it's going to suck leaving it behind because of all the effort I put into it. And we were good friends or good partners or whatever the case may be. But it's done, most likely because of some deception. It's done. You've moved on. And wherever you're headed, it's better. It's like a, a positive release away from this. It's almost like this guy feels freed in a way. Because right now he's kind of wrapped up in all this shit here, but he's trying to get away. And I think you you break through, especially with this combination here, you break through and you start over for the best and have plenty to look forward to, especially where money's concerned, you're emotionally content. Two of Wands, Moon. I haven't seen the Moon quite a bit. Page of Wands, we have good news. Hermit, a week of uh, thinking for you or going within with the energy of the hermit, your focus might be on learning, learning a new skill, trade, or just improving your education. Going back into education could be coming up, especially with the, the moon is intuitive. The moon is also going within. So there's definitely that energy of relying on your intuition and your feelings to move forward. There's a decision here with the two of wands. You're fixated on what to do. You got two options. You're leaning towards one. And whatever you're leaning towards, it's whatever you feel is right. Whatever your intuition is saying, I got to go this way. That's where you're headed. Page of Wands for me represents good news. And some of you might be waiting for this news. And before you can act on something, you're waiting to hear from someone else or just news that you can move forward. And Page of Wands, again, represents that youthful energy. And in terms of that information, it's more often than not positive. But you end the week with having to think about how a situation is turning out or what think about what to do. So let's get clarifiers. All right, two of wands. We've got two options here. You're choosing a direction as you normally would with this card. What are you thinking? Or what are you choosing? Okay, I'll take that. Fine. All right, I'll just take that. 
You're choosing to start over, fresh start. We have the Fool appearing here, brand new direction coming up. This direction that you're choosing might be a bit of a risk and no one might know about it. You might be doing it in the shadows, planning to up and leave, pack your bags, and you might not even be taking everything with you because this guy doesn't carry much. So, and this person is looking beyond the seas. There's a boat over there. So there is an element of actually moving or a major shift in direction that again involves maybe you lying to other people on your agenda and then kind of escaping away. Let me get the moon. Can, okay. King of Swords, so this situation could involve that air sign or it could represent some a male figure, masculine energy, who is a bit aloof. I feel like you don't understand what they're thinking or feeling. Their actions are not clear to you. You don't even know what you feel about them as well because there's this nebulous energy of the moon here. I don't really feel the romantic side of the moon with uh, the cards that are coming up around it, but it's a possibility. We have the Hermit here, so you're thinking about this person a lot. They're definitely on your mind. Why? This could be someone that you're married to or is part of a group, something that is a routine to you. Uh, the Hierophant I usually see as corporations, marriages, institutions, or again, groups, this routine that you may be involved in. And this person is a strong influence and you're thinking about them. There is a tie here to education as well with the Hermit and the Hierophant. There's a learning aspect there. So that could be like a teacher. The King of Swords could be someone who is a teacher. Now there is stress involved in this situation. So for the most part, this King, again, is someone that you don't quite understand. You've got feelings happening there, a lot of stress involved. You're thinking about them heavily. I do feel like for the majority, this might be a partner that you're committed to and they're being quite distant towards you. Page of Wands. We've got news coming in. I feel like it's positive. Do you support me in that? Knight of Pentacles. So another messenger coming in. This is the receipt of some form of document, money as well. Information that you were hoping for is just taking a long ass time to get here because the Knight of Pentacles is slow, but I feel like it's good news. What is it about? Is it about money? We got the page of wands again. So this could be a child attached to this situation. And whatever the case may be, you're hearing good news about that child or something in your favor. And it could be tied to finances, as I said. This person could be coming to visit you and you've been anticipating that. Or this person is just reaching out to you finally. And whatever it is that they're reaching out to you with, they have a lot to say with the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. You might be getting all sorts of messages from people in general. We have the Empress here. There is a possibility of pregnancy coming up, but I think that's for the very minority. This, this could represent, yeah, I actually see this. If you're a female, this is your energy, I think. And this is hearing news that you've wanted to finally hear about that's tied again to work or money. And you're feeling in control again, I believe, with the Empress now that this information is out. The Hermit. We have the tower there. Now, I don't think that the tower in this case is that dramatic event happening and shaking up your world because the main card is a hermit. So you're going within and you're thinking. You might be thinking about a big shake up and this is you actually, you know, being the one to stir stuff up that breaks down foundations. It could be tied to your job. You feel like you got to do what's right and what's right might involve tearing the situation down to its core. It could be quite dramatic to people around you. Get one more. All right, so this might involve a relationship. We have the two of chalices. This could involve a friendship as well. And this is basically what you're thinking about. Again, I feel like it involves getting what's yours, getting what's due. And in order to do so, it requires, again, stirring. I want to say stirring drama, but action is definitely being taken because the tower is not a passive card things break down and you might have to reveal something again that plays in your favor that will get you what you want in order to do so you got to reveal something let me 
get one overall card from you. We've got strength. So as your overall card, there might be some elements of, this doesn't feel too heavy, but like this energy here feels a little bit difficult. You've got some sort of relationship or connection to someone where you're expecting to either hear from them or you're thinking about them a lot and it's weighing on your mind heavily, but you're enduring by the end of the week, you have strength. So you're pushing past, past any drama, any obstacles in your way, and you're coming out on top, I feel. I mean, she's very much in control of the situation, which I believe is you. 